All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Plants for Zombies 2. It's about time. We're on the far future. We are heading on to day number 10. What's so great about day number 10? Haha, -ha, there is actually no challenge. So you can basically choose whichever plants you want. You can get rid of them. You can do basically the strategy that you want. Uh, and the strategy that I'm going to be doing here, um, it's just a little just a little fun, um, just a little variation that we've done in the past. Uh, you definitely could have used Spike Rock instead of the Power One. Um, you could have used Cherry Bomb instead of the Mechanical One. We're going to do that just so I can show you guys a little bit of what it actually does. As you can see that there are three Power Tiles that are Aqua Color. Those again are going to be where you're going to want to plant your Twin Sunflowers. Do it there, use the plant food on them once or twice, boom, you got yourself 15, 1600 sun. Will allow you to plant three winter melons for free, basically. Uh, and those things are invaluable, especially when you play here. Uh, now you'll notice I put another twin sunflower in the middle row, just because, again, we're definitely going to be wanting to put a tall nut in front of those just to protect them. They, it is very, uh, very far up. So we definitely want to make sure that those twin sunflowers are protected. Have that zombie in the bottom row. Not a fan of the zombies always coming back from the from the bottom row. Um, you know when they're doubling up, and especially in the beginning, because you can't plant the potato mine as quickly as you want, and basically allow them to kind of get closer up. But again, you, you're going to have to do that. Plant twin sunflowers as much as you can. As you can see right now, we got 500 already. Boom. There you go. Winter melon, where this guy basically comes up. We're going to slow him down. Tall nut in that row is basically going to stop the rocket guy. The winter melon's going to be able to take out the middle one as well as the guy on the right. Tall nut's going to slow these guys down. Eventually, when you get farther in, you can actually use the plant food on the tall nuts in this row. Uh, basically, gives them double the damage. But again, plant food, boom, helps you out big time. There you go, 500 sun. Easy peasy. There you go. I mean, basically a thousand sun right here. So the zombie in the top will basically get taken out pretty quickly. That zombie would definitely in the second from the top row. We got another winter melon. We got so many twin sunflowers right now that we are going to be doing wonderful taking these guys out. It's going to be so much fun. Now, hey, you see this? It will disable them. Basically, disabling them means that it's not going to be able to move. It basically is another freeze, but you actually have to cost money to do it. But it does do the area of effect that a cherry bomb does. So it will do more than just one, whereas the iceberg lettuce basically just incapacitates one person. It has to be a ground one it can't be one of the flying ones but as you can tell right here we have we're getting a lot of sun and we're also getting tons and tons of winter melons planted so you can basically do as much damage as you want basically use another one to slow down the zombie I don't even know what it is it's like a zombie UFO because it actually will call down those afro zombies um, that can be pretty problematic. Uh, can be can just be a pain uh, because if you have multiple of those out there and you don't take them out too quickly, you're going to be having you know Afro zombies like crazy. Which is another reason why we like the winter melons. The winter melons do splash damage. So with splash damage means not only do you do damage to the main zombie, you know the Afro zombie, but you do the one in the row above it and below it just makes it so much fun. Again, huge wave of zombies is approaching. Don't really need to worry too much right now. So we can definitely basically just protect our guys. And we can use the winter melons or whatever extra sun we do to take these guys out. You'll notice that with this amount of winter melons out, we do crazy amounts of damage to these guys. I mean, they don't really even get close to hitting our tall nuts, which is exactly what we want. And that right there, guys, is going to be day 10. Tons of fun. Hope you guys throw down a like down below. See you guys all later. I'm Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.